Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to be giving a little introduction to BuddyPress. So I'm just going to introduce, you know, what it is, what the plugin is, a little bit of history with WordPress and the BuddyPress plugin. So we're going to be covering all of that in this video. So firstly, let's just give an introduction and just some background about the WordPress history. So when it first came out uh, a long time ago, it was mainly used as a content management system and a blogging software. So pretty much people used it for blogging I mean, and it was extremely difficult to build a website back then and that's why WordPress was created to ease it up and although back in the day there wasn't all the cool page builders and all of that, you still had to be a fairly good developer and know a little bit of PHP and some other languages to be able to use WordPress properly. But as time went on, what happened is that lots of plugins and themes started coming out. So, for example, the Site Origin Page Builder, Elementor Page Builder, and on top of that, many themes started coming out. So the two combined made for a much easier user experience. So anyone could just hop on and drag and drop things and build their website. So it moved from a more developer stance to a sort of general stance. And as that happened, it moved from a more blog sense to a more open and variety of possibilities that you could do. And originally, a lot of the blogging features, like I've been talking about, where, you know, users, you could only contribute and comment on posts, these started becoming kind of useless because now that it's moved away from a whole blogging standpoint, and now that it's more general, the whole user replying and everything wasn't really useful for social interaction. So, this is where BuddyPress comes in. So pretty much BuddyPress, or the team that created BuddyPress, pretty much wanted to expand on the WordPress default features. Instead of creating everything from scratch and having conflictions, they instead just built off of the existing features and started adding some more things. So for example, let's just talk a little bit about these users or these features that you could do back in the day. You would have a WordPress user that could comment on posts, could reply to posts, and could also, you know, maybe change their avatar. Th those, those are the really only features. But the, only, the fact is, there was username, password, and authentication. So the whole user mechanics and everything to do with the user's login and registering was completely set up. So instead of building their own, BuddyPress simply built off of this and started adding more features to the users. So instead of just having comments and replies, they now have groups, social forums, and all sorts of different things. So then what BuddyPress did is allowed you to mess around with these settings. And the thing is, BuddyPress, when using it, you don't really have to do much. Since everything is set up for you, all you have to do is really go and put the pages in their place and maybe configure a few settings. That's really the most you have to do. So everything is pretty much set up for you. This isn't going to be a huge unit, but there's still a lot we need to learn about BuddyPress. But all you need to know is that BuddyPress did not build it from scratch. They built off of the WordPress user features and just went from there and added, started adding some more features. All right, so there you go. Now we have an intro to BuddyPress. So let's start configure it, configuring it on our website.